Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and this woke lady tries to trap Candace Owens and it backfires in spectacular fashion. There was another tweet that said the Democratic Party is comprised of racist white liberals. That is correct. Am I yep. a racist white liberal? Well, let's go back. Probably. Um, and, and, and let's say, I will say this, that many people in the party don't, are not aware of their own racism. Let's go back to an early part of this conversation where you said to me, are you concerned about the color in the White House? Um, why, why would you ask me that question? Because you speak about black issues. No, but, and but, I want but your why, would you, why would you ask me? But let's get to really the nucleus of this. Why did you ask me that question today? Because I'm Why did you feel that I needed to be concerned about that? Because you, you're bringing a whole group of young African American okay. leaders to the White okay. House. Okay, so this is something that I talk about often: is that in many ways, white liberals don't realize that you you put on that the racism and the, the conversations that so we you're, have. So you're are, saying I'm a racist? You haven't let me finish my statement. You keep okay. cutting me off. Go ahead. Okay. The emphasis that you place is always on having a discussion about race. Okay. You guys are insistent on having a conversation about race and telling us that we should see and implying that we should see race everywhere. And I don't agree with that. If you don't look at me according to the color of my skin, you would simply ask me how I thought that Trump was doing as a president. But instead, you try to drum up a conversation that's surrounded by race Candace, by asking me, "Are there enough black people in the White House?" You're bringing a whole group of young black leaders you to the White color, House. You see color, I don't. That's something that's important to you. But why are you talking but about? But then why is it, why why make it a that you're going to bring young black leaders to the White House? I mean, this is because sort of absurd. Because, because the media, as in the These whole, absurd, this is absurd. You're bringing this group to the White it's, House. It's not absurd. I'm making so, perfect so, sense. I just want to be. I just want to be clear. Yeah. I just want to be clear. I'm trying to be extremely you, clear with you. I know. I know. Bringing the black you think, conservatives but you to the White me House as a racist white. I think liberal. that you're not. A, first off, you put those words in my mouth, and you keep saying you it. So you I'm not. It. I, I said that the Democrat Party is comprised of racist white liberals. Are, are, is every person in the party racist? No, but you're not aware of the fact that you put these racist tones out into the media. This is why we have to bring the black conservatives to the president because you create a narrative. Think I it's have, helpful to ask me just because I'm a black woman if I'm comfortable with the amount of color that's on the administration? Do you think that that's helpful? I think it's helpful and interesting to it's know. Not your it's not. It's you just trying to create I'm an undertone that Donald You're Trump bringing, is racist, and no, it's wrong. Yeah. No. Okay. And that to me is the reason. Listen, why. no, 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 no. We actually. I just want to say. You just want to say. I just want to say. You're looking I, at me on the basis of my skin say. color and making a bunch of, you know, and making a bunch of deductions. I did not. You said that. We can run the tape back. I want to say that. Here's what I want to say. You quoted a tweet and then you made it about you. I appreciate. You were not a added, Democrat. but you were not added in that tweet. So do not say I'm that I Democrat. called you that because that's dishonest. And we are on, and we are, and we are on TV, so you're you can run. You're calling me a racist. Okay, so you're, you, I did not call you a racist. racist. You're, you're using weird. the typical Wait, leftist here, tactic here's of trying to make yourself a victim, what I want to say. which is not the one that I will accept. No, no, but we're actually, we're actually well beyond that. Well, she's making herself a victim and pretending that I came here and called her a racist. So this is a typical leftist tactic that we not demonize. Our opponent. And I think it's important hold that you on, not demonize on, my on. president. What a ridiculous cat fight. I mean, first off, if you have a misspelled female name, you automatically can assume that there's some sort of, you know, brain damage going on here. So, Crystal, with a K, was trying to bait Candace Owens into a debate which does not matter. She was trying to bait Candace into saying something that might have gone viral and made her look really, really stupid. Candace is used to this. Remember, Candace used to be a lefty. Uh, Candace Owens used to be a lefty, does still hold some lefty values here and there, but I'm not going to hold that against her. What I will say, on the other hand, is her origin came after Gamergate. And Gamergate was the media realization that, oh, we don't control these, gaming, these gamer dudes. They don't like us. And so we're going to drag their names to the dirt. Candace got caught up in that. She used to be a lefty at this time, and that was sort of her... Eh, that was sort of her light bulb moment when she realized these people are terrible, they're vile, they're vicious, and they will use anything to get a headline in order to stay relevant. Hey y'all, as we know, you don't put all your eggs into one basket, right? So that's why I'm partnering over with my friends at Colonial Metals Group who will help diversify your portfolio. And what they'll do is they'll set up for you a self-directed IRA account. You'll have direct access to your assets. You'll be able to see what all's going on. And it doesn't matter what the stock market does or what often happens, what the government does, your assets will be protected. So let the team of experts over at Colonial Metals Group help secure your account and your family's future today. There's a link in the description below. Oh, and by the way, if you don't like that, there's a 1-800 number you can call. And most importantly though, is the kicker. 
They'll throw in a safe and possibly up to $10,000 in U.S. silver to help you get things started. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. Because that is exactly how the media works. The modern American media is nothing but smear merchants. Just dirty, disgusting people wanting to use you to get a headline. It's awful, it's gross, and it is a reason why people are now questioning the validity of the First Amendment. People are doing this now. That's the reality. And it's because of media heads like Crystal, who is trying to bait Candace Owens into saying something stupid or to say something mildly racist. However, Candace is smart enough not to fall for this trap, and I've just explained that. However, what Crystal's really doing is saying, how dare you leave the Democrat plantation? That's it. That's what she's trying to bait Candace into. That's what she's trying to say here. How dare you leave our nice plantation? We treat y'all very, very well. We don't even whip you past three o'clock in the afternoon. What the Democrats have done to people of color in the United States is they have put them in a ghetto and then tried to give them bits and crumbs of everything else and then say, the ghetto's good, the ghetto nice, we give you money. And it's a wonder why people are starting to question whether the Democrat Party has their best interests at heart. Funny how that works. Once you've woken up and realized how poorly you've been treated for the past 50 years, as a matter of fact, since civil rights, it seems like got passed, since civil rights got passed, it seems like things are getting worse. I, let, let, let me know down in the comments if you think that's been the case. And I'm saying that trying to be from the perspective of a black man. That's not fair. I, I'm, I'm clearly white, obviously. But I've worked with plenty of great black Americans. And I've come to the annoying conclusion that they get put into a box and get characterized by their, the party that they continue to vote for over and over and over again. And now there's a candidate out there that understands their pain, who has gone through a similar terrible process, and they're starting to question, hmm, which party has my best interest at heart again? Because the Democrat Party says, we'll continue to give you crumbs, we'll continue to give you money. The Republican Party says, we're going to give you, the fr we're going to give you freedom. That's the argument. That is the argument. And people are starting to realize that the Republican Party of the ideals of freedom is far more appealing to well, what has been happening to the black community and the brown community now. that They're in a similar position. Latinos in this country, they want that freedom. They love that freedom. That's why they came here. That's why people look at Donald Trump and go, oh, I can relate to this. And that's ultimately the end around of the Republican Party. That's the ultimate hope that as they're hemorrhaging white voters who have been captured by liberal media, people who think Kristen is a, Crystal is a wonderful person, despite the fact that uh, her co-host Buck was trying to stop her because he realized that she was losing. <laughs> and then you have Charlie Kirk over there just going, nope, I'm going to let Candace cook. Ugh. At least one person has a working brain on that little duo of group, Crystal and Buck. Oh, bless your heart. Buck, you take second fiddle, don't you? Mm. Well, you tried. It didn't work because Crystal would not admit that she was wrong and kept on trying to portray herself as a victim. There is a victim mentality problem that we have in the white Democratic Party. It's pathetic, as a matter of fact, and I love pointing that out, but ultimately, People are realizing that the Democrats are offering a terrible deal. Whereas the Republicans are saying, no, there's no deal. We're going to give you the freedom to move around. It's a wonder why people are starting to flock to the Republican Party and running away screaming from the Democrats. Funny how that works. And that's what this segment is all about. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed the segment here on Politibrol. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.